It is no secret DC Comics has ruined superheroes, quite possibly for good, folks. It removed Superman's patriotic slogan, the American way, from Superman's iconic tagline, truth, justice, and well now, a better tomorrow. It makes me sick. Truth, justice, and the American way. That's what it's supposed to be. But it gets even worse. DC decided to make Superman bisexual in an upcoming comic book. What the hell is that about? Add in Robin of Batman and Robin fame to the list of bisexuals, too. DC felt the need to feminize Batman's sidekick? Again, what? If it's too much for you to take, imagine being an America-loving artist for DC Comics, like Gabe El Taib. He quit in disgust. I'm not that guy. I'm not here to take and leave. Uh, this is, I'm finishing out my contracts with DC. I'm talking right to the fans right now. I'm looking in the camera. Hi, Comics Gate. Um, let me earn my place here by saying this. <clears throat> I'm tired of this. I'm tired of them ruining these characters. And, uh, you know, they don't have a right to do this. You know what I'm not tired of? I'm not tired of straight talkers who tell it like it is and be bold about sticking up for what's right. That's what that man did. That comic book artist, Gabe El Taib, joins me now. Gabe, welcome to the program. Hello, Mr. Sinstra. How you doing? Well, first off, it's Grant, by the way, but this had to be rough for you to quit. I would think that for any comic book artist working for DC or Marvel, or, that would be like a dream come true until all this started to unfold. Yeah, um, you know, it's been a dream of mine since I was a little boy. I started drawing when I was like three, and I decided I was going to be a comic book artist when I was 12 or 13. I saw Jim Lee. He's a vice president over there at uh, DC Comics right now. When I saw his art when I was 12 or 13, I decided I would work for him, be his friend, and all that. He ended up hiring me in my 20s personally. He's the one that chose me and all that. And uh, somewhere in 2012 or 13, things slowly started to get more and more woke and nonsense. And uh, I finally just had enough. It was when they uh, changed the slogan on Superman, taking away uh, yeah. the American way and all that that stands for. And you see the shirt <laughs> that I found this today at a yeah. truck stop in Texas. Uh, is that that little too American for you, DC? Sorry, you're gonna have no, to just hey, chew buddy, on that. Gabe, uh, on this program, Gabe, you, you can't get too American. I mean, look, this All is right. the one thing that we absolutely love here. So, um, what did you think when they tell you now you got to color in a bisexual Superman? Uh, that didn't bother me so much. It was the patriotism. The first book I ever did for Warner Brothers was The Midnighter. He's an analog for Batman. Same company, but just he's a. And he's very gay, that character. I don't care about that so much. To me, it's just, Superman is from Kansas. His parents are Christian farmers. And the American way is what makes him powerful. He has, you know, heat vision and freeze breath and the strongest man. He's indestructible. He could be a tyrant and take over the world. Nobody could stop him. But what makes him a hero is his morality. And that morality is American. He learned it from his parents here on Earth. You know, he left his planet, you know, Krypton. He wasn't raised by those parents. So his morality and his ideals, so let me, they're American, and that matters. Let, let me say this, Gabe. I, I don't care about gay superheroes if they start gay from the beginning and you have a gay superhero. But I just don't feel the right. need to change Superman, who clearly wasn't gay to begin with. It's all about, you know, being socially acceptable, I guess. Let me play a soundbite for you from Tom Taylor. Um, this is a guy who, <laughs> who wrote this episode, The Son of Superman. He was on with Anderson Cooper. Let's play it for you. Superman was a really radical figure. I think people forget that. What a Superman today should be fighting, I guess that was where, that's where I started from. You know, we, we look out the window today and we look at what are the things that would cause someone who can see everything, who can hear everything, what would cause them concern and what would they want to fight for? I mean, I, I still think Superman would want to stop muggers in the streets of Gotham. I, I agree with you. And and it's funny, he was allowed to speak since Australia is so locked down. I didn't know he was allowed to uh, speak to anyone. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I think there's a fundamental well, misunderstanding. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. No, no, no. No, no, Keep going. Fundamental misunderstanding. Uh, of what the American way means. Because I've seen people comment, well, he's a hero for the whole world. Yes. But, it's again, it's his American culture that we stand up for truth and justice and what's right. And we take that out into the world. As you can see, I'm not a white supremacist. I'm a half Mexican, uh, half Libyan. My father 
escaped Gaddafi's murderous regime. They killed my grandfather and many of my dad's friends. My grandfather's Mexican on my mom's side, fought in World War II in the Pacific. And hearing what my, there's my dad and my son right there. Beautiful. You see that guy? That's my dad. And uh, if he didn't come over here, then I wouldn't be what I am. Maybe I'd be dead over there in Libya in the civil wars and all the nonsense they have there. So it, it's very, I'm keenly aware of what America is and what it means, that I wouldn't get to be this person without it. So they found my line. I always tell people, don't look for the line with people. You're going to find it. And the line with me was messing with my dad and my grandpa and that Americanism that has given us everything we have. So that, I just, uh, I told these comics, I'm too good for you. You, you know, you just forget it. I'm way too good for you guys. And, and I'm so proud of you for doing that because it really takes Thank a strong, you. exceptional person to say goodbye to a dream job like that. Um, can I ask you real quick, what do you do now? Like, are, are there comics, books that you can go work for that don't have this woke mentality? What do you do? Absolutely. Um, well, first of all, you say you're proud of me. I thank you, but I give God all the glory. He gives me the victory. Uh, and I'm working with Comscape. Basically, we are people who are to the right of Mao Tse Sung, so we're all, you know, white supremacists. You know, that's what they call you. And uh, bigots and homophobes, that's what they call us. And it's me, my buddy Ethan, and a bunch of former Marvel and DC guys, and independent guys who never worked in the mainstream. And we, uh, we go by Comicsgate, like Watergate and all the scandals. So we call ourselves that. And there's a, a website, a buddy of mine, just I'm looking at my phone here. He put up just now, yeah. cgnow.net. You can uh, get books there that have already been crowdfunded and published. And basically, we do YouTube shows and Twitter and social media, and we talk directly to fans. And what we don't do is wow. what Marvel and DC do to the fans. They allow the editors and writers to call the fans racist, homophobic, sexist. It's the same idiot argument over and over from these leftists. And we never Gabe. mistreat our fans. We give them adventure, excitement. We give them their money for it. So check us out on YouTube. Um, you can find me on every social media with just my name. A name so unique. So just look for Gabe LT Gabe. on YouTube. I'll let you go. Sorry. No, you're good because I'm running out of time. But what you right. did is what I want everybody at home to know they can do. You can yes, make your yes, own yes. direction. And you can make yes. money doing it. And God bless you. I wish you all the luck in the world. And I appreciate you speaking out on this very important topic. Gabe El Taib, thank you, buddy. I hope to get you on again real soon. Thank you, Grant. Anytime you want, man, I'll be here. Absolutely. Thumbs up and a big salute. Go Superman. Grant Stinchfield is on Newsmax every night fighting for the America First agenda.